For over half a century, Duroc Aircrete Blocks has been a name synonymous with quality and performance right across the house building and commercial sectors of the UK. Since 1961, when the first blocks left our Linford factory, Duroc has established itself as one of the largest producers of aircrete blocks in the UK. During this time, the Duroc name has survived several changes of ownership, and today our trademark white blocks continue to form the foundations and fabric of buildings throughout the country. Our production process has also come a long way. In 1987, the original Duroc production line was replaced by a new, more efficient, higher output plant designed to meet rising demand. Today, this plant is operated by 80 employees producing over 20 million blocks per year. The Duroc block production cycle here at Linford consists of six stages. The mixing and casting of raw materials, rising and setting, cutting, autoclaving, resting, and finally, packaging. Every one of these stages is critical to the final quality and performance of a Durox block. So let's now take a look at them in more detail. The production of a Durox block starts with the careful selection of raw materials. Sand with a high silica content, lime, cement, aluminium powder and anhydrite all form part of the initial mix. The silica sand is the largest component of the mix. It's moved from the stockyard by loading shovel and conveyor to a holding silo, while other materials like cement and lime powders are delivered by tanker and pumped directly into the silos. Forming a key part of the overall environmental credentials of the Durox block, all our raw materials are responsibly sourced. As a result, Durox has been audited and certified to the responsible sourcing standard BES 6001 with a rating of very good a significant achievement within the building materials sector. At Linford, the production of Durox blocks is a highly computerized process. The first stage is the milling of the silica sand to produce a slurry. High silica sand is finely ground in a rotating ball mill with water, anhydrite and a small proportion of waste slurry, a waste material from the Durox block production process that is recycled and reused in new batches. On average, the mill processes around 20 tonnes of sand per hour. But this can be altered to meet specific production requirements. This sand slurry mix is then pumped to one of three silos, where it's stored and constantly agitated to prevent settling, until it's required for the next stage in the block making process. After milling, the sand slurry is then pumped into the mixing tower to be blended with the other raw materials, cement, lime and waste slurry, along with special additives, and the aluminium powder as part of a strictly controlled process. As the raw materials are being mixed in the tower, down below on the factory floor, the mould that will receive the slurry is being automatically cleaned and oiled following the last batch, ensuring it's ready to move into place under the mixing tower. Each mould is 7 metres long, 1.5 metres wide, and 0.7 metres tall and can contain from 5,000 to 7,000 litres of slurry, depending on the block type being produced. Just as in the baking of a cake, the cleaning and oiling will help prevent the next batch of slurry sticking to the mould as it cures. Once full, the mould travels along the production line to be placed onto one of seven tracks in a heated rise and set chamber. Each mould remains in the heated chamber for about three and a half hours during which time the chemical reaction between the raw materials further raises the temperature of the mix to around 70 degrees C. The aluminium powder reacts with the alkaline elements of the other raw materials to produce hydrogen bubbles, which cause the slurry mix to rise, whilst the cement helps it to set. As the hydrogen dissipates, the bubbles are replaced by air, which gives the finished block its lightweight and physical properties. On leaving the rise and set chamber, the mix, which is now known as green cake, has hardened to a state similar to modelling clay or a block of cheese. This ensures it will hold its shape when removed from the mould, but still remains soft enough to be easily cut in the next process. On leaving the rise and set chamber, the hot green cake is transported directly to the cutting line. 
The mold is peeled away and the green cake weighing several tons is lifted onto the line. The cutting line uses three sets of thin wires to divide the green cake up into individual blocks. These wires oscillate back and forth, slicing neatly through the cake. The number and position of the wires is carefully set to determine each of the different Durox block sizes. Cutting from the bottom up, the first set of wires, called cross cuts, slice the green cake across its width in order to give the Durox blocks their height. The cake is then moved forward through a second set of wires, cutting the cake lengthways to give the blocks their width. Finally, a third cutting wire, the top saw, cuts through the top of the cake to give the blocks their length. As the second and third cut is being made, a thin sliver of cake is removed from each side to ensure that the blocks, coming from the edges of the cake, are as perfectly shaped as all the others. The offcuts are collected and recycled back into new slurry mixes. Once cut, the top crust of the cake is removed using vacuum suction and the two ends of the cake are also removed to be recycled. In this way, all the waste from the green cake is captured and can be recycled to produce more blocks. Having been cut to the desired dimensions, the green cakes are stacked three high on a rack and transported directly to the ovens where the autoclaving of the blocks takes place. The Linford plant has seven autoclave ovens, each 50 meters long and able to hold a total of 21 cakes in seven stacks of three. On arriving from the cutting line, the cakes are loaded into an autoclave to be baked or cured at 200 degrees C, whilst also being subjected to extreme pressure of 11 bar or 160 pounds per square inch generated by steam. In order for the blocks to harden fully, the cakes must remain in the autoclave for between 9 and 11 hours. After curing, the cakes are removed from the autoclave and travel along to a resting area to cool. The cakes are then lifted across to start the final stage of the process, packaging. First, the three-tier cake stack is deconstructed each layer of blocks moving in turn to be lifted by crane over to the packaging area. Packaging of Durox blocks at Linford is a fully automated, computer-controlled process which sees each autoclaved cake split into six smaller packs. The packaging is undertaken by four identical robots, affectionately known as Audrey, Susie, Patricia and Jessica, so-called to allow easy identification by operational and maintenance staff. The robots work in unison to lift the blocks from the completed cut cake and arrange them into sets to create individual packs. The packs then pass through a banding process which holds them securely together before moving on to be shrink wrapped. This protects them from the elements until they are used on site. The robotic line is able to package more than 60 packs of blocks per hour. If required, blocks can be packaged without a pallet. Once shrink-wrapped, the block packs are transferred to the stockyard. As a company, Tarmac is committed to providing customers with a sustainable, consistent, high-quality product. Durox products are manufactured under quality and environmental management systems, complying with ISO 9001 and ISO 14001. They've also achieved BSI Kite Mark and BBA certification and are CE marked. All Durox products are rigorously tested at our Linford factory to ensure compliance with industry performance standards and regulations. Block dimensions are checked and the compressive and transverse strengths tested to ensure the blocks will perform to the highest standard. All our raw materials are also tested to ensure consistency in terms of quality and key chemical properties. With sustainability a key driver in the production and sale of the Durox range, all raw materials used in the production of Durox blocks are certified as responsibly sourced under BES 6001, keeping us well placed at the forefront of the market. For consultants and specifiers, this will be a key deciding factor in the choice of Durox as our environmental credentials can significantly contribute to the sustainability of their project. Durox blocks are used by construction companies of all sizes across the UK. 
Orders can range from a single pallet up to many hundreds of packs of blocks, depending on the size of the project. The dispatch of blocks from Linford is carefully scheduled to ensure customer requirements are met wherever they're located. Durox blocks are typically delivered on an articulated lorry and unloaded by grab. For sites with difficult access, the load can be delivered on a wagon and drag vehicle like this one. The benefits of Durox blocks include excellent thermal insulation, high strength, fire resistance and sound insulation. The blocks can even be easily cut by handsaw or split by hammer and bolster. However, the most visible benefit to installers is their size. The lightweight properties of Aircrete allows blocks of 620 mm length to be produced. Yet, with a lighter weight block, it means that even the largest Durox blocks can be picked up and placed easily, significantly improving worker safety and health. The Durox supersized blocks also increase site productivity, as fewer blocks need to be laid per course. Fewer blocks means fewer joints, and as a result, the volume of mortar required is reduced by at least 20%. The reduction in joints also has the advantage of further enhancing the acoustic and thermal performance of the finished masonry wall. In every aspect of their manufacture, Durox blocks are the product of unrivaled experience and expertise, gained over more than 50 years here at our Linford factory. Strong, lightweight, fire resistant, and offering excellent sound and heat insulation, their quality today sets the standard for block manufacture throughout the construction industry. Here at Tarmac, we aim to ensure it continues to do so for many years to come.